Alrighty, hello, hello, welcome back to TFT Ranked Mode with Santhus Gaming. Uh, we are going to be doing one more match before I take a break and go get some supper or lunch. It's like three in the afternoon, I haven't eaten breakfast or lunch, so I should probably do that. Hopefully we are able to focus enough to do fine. We have finished first, fourth, first, eighth, and second. We've been kind of alternating between good game, bad game, so hopefully this one's a good one and not a bad one. That eighth place really hurt us in our placements. I shouldn't have tried the Thorn Mail build. I should have waited and just done that in unranked to test it out, but that's okay. I learned my lesson. I'm trying things that I'm pretty sure are good instead now. Take the bow and take the Braum to start. I've also been getting really unlucky and just getting lots of gold on the starting minion rounds. Last game I got just a ton of gold and was kind of forced into into rolling hard early in order to snowball a lead. Which I mean it worked out. I got second place off of it, but it's not my preferred playstyle. Hopefully we get an item here. Hopefully we get a spell power or another bow. I'd take a teardrop too. What do you give me? What are you going to give me? Don't give me gold. You suck. That's uh, it's every single game I've gotten gold on the first minion. Oh, well, by the board, we're getting used to this. We can use it to make pairs on the bright side. On the downside, I'd, I'd much rather have an item. At least experience is not a thing anymore. I can use the gold to buy experience if I want to, is the thing. If I see a need to. I hope we get an item here. We got more gold. Okay. It's going to be a hard roll game. It's going to be a hard roll game. We could play, we could play economy. We could play economy really hard too. That would be the other option, I guess. Let's kind of see what presents itself though. There's some nobles shaping up here. Got a knight, avoid. We got some wild on the board. Let's see what we get from our next uh, set of enemies here. All oh, right, probably throw my last person on the board. Graves would have been better just to shred the multiple enemies, but. Please don't be gold. Oh, hallelujah. Uh, Phantom Dancer. Okay. Okay. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Okay. Shapeshifter game, maybe. We also have nobles, if we end up going that route. Is this Shapeshifter Demon? It's another early demon I can get online. Aatrox. Varus. I'd rather do Aatrox. If given the choice. He's already got three Sorcerer bonus online. The Morgana pop-off is going to hurt. Maybe Nidalee gets the heal. Nidalee got the heal on the spider. That's really big. Phantom Dancer kept her alive long enough to do stuff. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna economy next round. Okay. Um. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Spends bring me down to eight. Nine, 
Maybe I econ the round after. Oh, we could do it this round. Pretty sure I'm not going with you or you. I'm going with you guys either. All right. We have a plan. Hopefully I don't regret it. I might have I might have committed to it a little too early. I do make that mistake often. The spider didn't stay alive quite long enough to get the heal. This guy's also level four, so he had an extra unit on the board. He's buying my Nidalees. It's fine. We already have her at rank two. That's we don't need gold. We definitely needed rank two on her though. No, we don't have her at rank two. Uh oh. Hmm. Bye bye. Maybe we can force it. Maybe we can force it. Shapeshifter, Shivana. Nidalee, Warwick. Elise. We might be able to get gold Elise. Nidalee. Alright, we're done burning gold. We've done what we needed to do. Varus got put in randomly. That's fine. That's not terrible. Oops. Stupid camera. Uh, I don't think we kill the Darius with the noble buff, though, unfortunately. Maybe. Maybe with the transformation. He's so tanky. My Darius with the noble buff is so tanky. All right. I wouldn't hate having a Blitzcrank in there. I'm one Shapeshifter away. I think Shapeshifter is better in Demon right now. Especially considering the strength of the Shapeshifter I have. I'm second. I'm third to last pick, so the likelihood I get something I want is pretty low. I don't have any items to start. What's going to be good on a Shapeshifter setup? Probably a Health Belt. Teardrop for quicker transformation. Rage Blade. Probably Rage Blade. Spell Power is a lot easier to get than Bow. It's hard to pass up a Bow when it's open. <clears throat> I can always get Belts later. It's not a big deal. Yeah, we're not burning gold anymore. I don't know who that goes on at the moment. I'm not sure. My uh, initial like gut instinct, I guess, would be that it goes on to the um, Shivana. But we don't know for sure we get her ranked up, right? I think I sell the Blitzcrank here. The pike stun is going to be a pain in the butt here. Oh, the silence stopped the stun for a second. Stopped it for long enough. Nice. Warwick, you are a golden god, my friend. You are a golden god. Oh, what that, that gunfire thing was. Hmm. All right, that gives us our, uh, our 10 gold interest. It's good. If we can snowball a win streak, build some economy... We might be doing okay. We might be doing okay. Uh, any of these guys? Yeah, she's she's blue, so I'm going to buy the Rangal to take him out of the pool. I'm going to buy the two whites to take them out of the pool. Um, I'm going to keep the things that I want on the left. I think that's the better way to do it. And then those I can sell as needed. So that's three, four, five... <clears throat> that brings us up to 17. Not enough for an economy, either way. So I think we're fine to hold it. The Ash Permastun on the Warwick is a thing that's happening right now. Yeah, uh, that's real annoying. 
The spiders will eat up some of those glacial procs, though. Super annoying to start, though. All right, he's got Rage Blade sitting on his bench, basically. He's going to be real annoying later. Uh, we have a demon in Morgana that we could throw in. Instead of Varus, I would rather have Morgana than Varus, I think, anyway. We do have enough decon here. So we'll just sell him and get the decon. All right. And we got one spider closer to Golden Spider. Uh, two more spiders and we have Golden Spider. Maybe, maybe our Elise ends up being our carry this game. Golden Elise with Rage Blade could be pretty scary. I'll throw on top of that like Demon Burn. She doesn't have enough range to attack from that corner, huh? Can you, like, can you do something, Shivana? Oh, she's auto attack range. I thought she was ranged. We've essentially been playing down a person. <laughs> no items, huh? That were guaranteed at least one. There it is. Gold, probably. Ah, oh, Phantom Dancer again. Can't really stack... Fuck me. Just try and reposition it. Well, what do we pair with armor once she merges? Sword breaker or red buff? Ah, uh, so we need either... Red buff is belt. Sword breaker is Negatron. All right. God, I can't believe I just did that. Oh, Siobhan is still body blocked in the corner. I need to move her. That's actually a really big deal. I'm fighting down a person. I just blew my win streak because of it. I need food. <laughs> I need food bad. Brain function, please. Twenty-seven. Thank you. Morgana. She can go in right now, actually. And she's better off there. I'm not sure though. She's got a little bit of range to her though. This will get us up to an interest point. I don't think the likelihood of getting Morgana gold is pretty high, is very high. I'd rather take the one interest. It might be not a terrible idea to kind of roll though and try to get the Elise to gold. Gold and Elise would be pretty strong. That's stunned, though. The demons now are the spider's mana burn, so it shuts down the pike pretty hard, even with the noble buff. I'm going to buy those. I'm going to sacrifice the, the interest. My thought being that I need Shivana, and I thought I might be able to force it. Um, we're almost to a minion round. I'm going to see what I get from the carousel. And then I'm going to probably roll to try to find the Shivana. If it looks like I'm going to win this match, I can sell those two to get up to 39, which brings me up to a 40 interest point. Uh, I could alternatively buy a Warwick. I don't think I'm getting a gold Warwick either. I think I give up on that. Let's kind of see how this is going, though. Gold Warwick would give my my team more time to get the transformations in, which is really just the key to shapeshifters in general. Unfortunately, the transformation happened right after the cannon ability, which essentially meant that her spiders that he summoned was just completely negated. I think we win this, but it's going to be real close. 
Yeah. All right. Um, I'm gonna sacrifice the interest point. Willy. Uh, Siobhan is there. This has a bow on her though, so the likelihood of her making it to me is pretty low. Uh, health belt on the Ash, but Ash is pretty popular, so that's pretty low likelihood too. Attack, spell power on the Zed would be good also. And Shibana with the with the the bow is like our top top priority. It looks like we're actually gonna get it. It's gonna unlock right next to us. Okay, so if we can get one more Shibana, then we have a Shibana with a Rage Blade potential. Also, if we could roll hard and get the Elise, we could stack our items on her instead, alternatively. We could do a little bit of both, also. I think I'm going to look for it, though, right now. I need two more Elises. Mm, it's a little iffy. There's one. There's two. I don't think it happened in time to get it on the board, no. But that's okay, we'll get it for next round. And we're getting a little closer to Gold Warwick, surprisingly. Cool. The red buff is going to be a bit of an issue from his Golden Warwick. The red buffs could be a really big issue, actually. Golden Elise is online. Uh, one brawler away from a brawler buff, huh? Let's see what this does. Warwick a little bit more time on the field gives our demons a little bit more time or our uh, shapeshifters a little bit more time to transform. I unfortunately pulled the person with the noble buff and now we're chasing the Lucian with the noble buff. That was kind of a worst case scenario sort of thing right there. We had a, we had a bit of anti-synergy there with our uh, <laughs> with our Blitzcrank. Can Elise, can a Golden Lily Elise 1v4? We are about to find out. I don't think so, because I think the Ash starts freezing her. Maybe. <laughs> Ends up being a draw. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Hey, what's our next uh what's our next hero that we want in? I don't know. What what would what would uh Nar? We want Nar. It's actually kind of a no-brainer. We want Nar. Oh. Aurelian Soul is good too. No Nar. That's okay. We got our Shabana up to rank two. Uh, rapid fire cannon on Shabana seems a bit of a waste. We only got one item. Wow. Okay. Okay. Seems a bit of a waste, but. I'm not sure if I'd rather have Volley Bear. Or if I'd li rather have Blitzcrank. I think I'm gonna do Volley Bear for now though. Actually no, I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the magic immunity. I think that's the best call. We could actually throw the Shivana now behind the Morgana, because she Oh, that guy's collecting Aurelian Souls. Actually quite gra glad I grabbed that then. The silence prevented the transformation on my shapeshifter. Um, 
And it's preventing my transformation on my other shapeshifter too. That's uh that's that's real rough. We still won, but that's uh that's a pretty hard counter. If we don't shapeshift, we don't do anything. The Aurelian Soul actually saved the day <laughs> there. Funnily enough. There's our Gnar that we were looking for though. That is definitively better than Blitzcrank. I don't know if we need to put him in yet. Is it better than... I don't know if it's better than uh, Nidalee. Because Nidalee does the heal. And she also is able to just able to transform a little bit easier. She has 100 mana versus he has 125. So he's just... It's a little bit rougher getting his trip. Wow, that's a double Cursed Blade, Vagar. That's, uh, that's actually a really interesting combination. That's actually a really interesting combination. She gave fucking Cassid end. Wow. Okay. Okay. Cassid end on our on our gold Elise. Um, I'm going to wait for the carousel. I need a spell power on the carousel, or I need... Uh, health belt. So I need... Needlessly large rod, or I need uh, giant spelt. Nidalee got her transformation off. Uh, oh, my Elise got frozen to death. Okay. Starting to go sideways real quick. Uh, we're definitely going to have to power spike. Um, so what I, so I need a belt or I needed a bow. I think belt. I actually don't know which one's better. Uh, that makes my choice easier. The belt's not there. I think I needed the belt more because red buff on all the spiders. But that requires the spiders to get transformed, right? Seems to be something we're struggling with a little. Alright. Alright. Um... I think we spend down. So we need Nar. We need Warwick. Shabana. I don't think we get gold Shabana, but. Dragon, though. Bloodthirster on her. Imagine. Who's our wild bonus? Oh, Nar. We still have shapeshifters without Nidalee. Get a little bit more front line out there. We're definitely finishing top four. I don't think we win this because that counters us really hard.
I don't know what's happening right now. Oh, we're losing. Turns out. Actually... One more Warwick. One more Cho'Gath too. Oh my god. The Golden Dragon might actually happen. Probably not. There appear to be a lot of blues on the map still. Frozen Heart. Oh God. Um, Swain's a shapeshifter. There's our Nar. Uh, assuming we don't get knocked out right now. This is a pretty big assumption because I think we're going to. Ouch. We would have gotten the level 2 Gnar. That would have saved us. Well, 4th place still gives us LP. Okay. Rough. Promoted to bronze three. Yay, go me.